no doubt about it. I'm straight up addicted. I'm obsessed with the garden. Obsessive Gardener. Obsessive Reviews. Welcome to the Obsessive Gardener. I'm back and I got some hot mail. Uh, this was quite a surprise. Um, I'm not on Facebook, but my, but my wife is on Facebook. And so, of course, she's part of Pepper Lovers Community. And um, there was a person on there named Andrew Kyleon. Kyleon? Kyleon? Um, and he grows peppers and is soon going to be selling uh, seeds and different things um, and he said does anyone want to try some peppers and do like a review online on YouTube and she said of course my husband has a YouTube channel he'd love to so she volunteered me and he sent me three peppers we're going to talk about two of them today these are Ahi Cherapita cross with Carolina Reaper, but one is, um, let me see here. So this one, the three is, it's got it written down for me. This. Okay, so this one is, um, the mother plant was the Cherapita and the pollen was from a Carolina Reaper and the other one is the exact opposite. The pollen is from the Reaper and the mother plant was the Cherapita. So when you cross uh, peppers, uh, they don't cross right there on the plant necessarily. They'll still come out whatever the, the mother plant. So the, this one, you know, looked like a Cherapita and this one looked like a Reaper. You take the seeds out, you plant them, and then you start getting all these different um, cross phenotypes. So uh, we are gonna try, I'm gonna try to review both of them so I can compare them and see what they're like. I've never had an ahi chair pizza. I really want to try them and I really wanna grow them. Uh, it's a little tiny little Peruvian pepper that's about 30 to 50,000 Scoville and uh, it's really hot out here right now. Um, and they're known as the, I think, the mother of all chilies. And they're also known as being the most expensive pepper in the world. They've rumored to sell $25,000 a kilo. I don't know if that's true, but I keep hearing this, uh, that the Cherpita is the most expensive pepper in the world. Don't know if it's true. Never tried it. I really want to. Um, but anyways, this is a cross between that and a Carolina Reaper. We'll cut them open, take a look. And we'll taste. Okay, so I gotta not get these mixed up. Okay. So the first one is the the pollen was from the reaper, and the mother plant was the cherpita, and then this one, the mother was the reaper, and the pollen was from the cherpita. And there's another pepper in here too that uh, we'll do later. It's a big it's a big pepper, and I'm pretty scared to do it, and we'll talk about that in another video. So let's cut these open. Oh, if you wanna get some seeds uh, for free for, of these, uh, too bad, you can't have them, they're mine. I'm gonna grow these suckers out. Ooh got a lot of seeds too. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's the inside. Mmm. It smells really good. Very chinensi. Um, I've never had a cherpita, but I have had part of a reaper before. Um, and it can definitely um, smell that reaper type smell. Um, I'm not going to get two nuts, uh, maybe I can do half, but I'm going to get the seeds out really quick. And, um, yeah, so I've only had like a quarter of a reaper before, uh, and about a quarter of a peach reaper, which 
I'd have to say the Peach Reapers might be my favorite pepper ever that I've had so far. And I've had some other super hots. Um, I'm kind of a wimp. So this is probably going to kill me. It's hot already. <clears throat> Very good. <clears throat> Um, sweet. <clears throat> I don't know, it's like fruity. <clears throat> it's not too bad yet. <clears throat> um, not bitter, not, I don't, wouldn't say florally. <clears throat> Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh, here comes the hiccups. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, ooh, finally. It's okay. I had a McDouble for lunch, so I should be good. <laughs> okay, so. Ooh. I didn't think I have to do this, but this is brought to you by El Mexicano. <laughs> In my experience, drinking something just makes it worse. I don't care if it's milk or whatever. It kind of, it just burns even hotter. <sighs> It's like a liquid yogurt. Um, very good, very hot. Um, it's probably gonna come back right now. A little bit of extinguishing happened with that yogurt. Um, ooh, it's making me cry. But the flavor is really good. I'd say the flavor is like a um. Oh, it's up there. Let's just say the Peach Reaper is a nine. <clears throat> if that's like my favorite pepper. Let's just pretend like I've never had a 10 yet. I don't know, a 10 might be a jalapeno in my book or a Fresno pepper, because I really like the flavor on those. <sighs> um, I don't know, I'd say like a seven, somewhere in there. Okay, uh, let's see if I can muscle through to the next one. Whew. I am gonna be cramping up guaranteed okay so this one the parent was the reaper the mama was a reaper and um, if I'm saying it wrong I'll put it right up here somewhere but I'm pretty sure yeah the pong came from the um, terapita and um, the parent the mother plant was the reaper now I'm glad that this other one they're, that they're crossed with a terapita because a uh, reaper was is much hotter. It's still it's up there. I'd say I say it's around ghost pepper. Mm, yeah, it's got to be at least seven hundred thousand Scoville on the last one. I'd say I'm no expert. That's a good guess. I've been eating little ghost pepper off the plant, and I'd say that's maybe a little hotter. So there's the other one. Get a good view of that one. Um, nice placenta going all the way up and down. Um, I'm gonna try not to get these seeds mixed up. <clears throat> but um, let's see here. I think I'll have this one. It's bigger. It's gonna kill me a little bit more. You guys can laugh a little harder at my dying. Um, Yeah, that was a hot pepper, and I can't believe I'm about to eat. Another one. I've been kind of training, too. I got a little Yucatan, Yucatan habanero. Those are pretty hot. They're little, but they're hot. And whenever I see a ripe one, I'll just pick it off and eat it. And uh, they're pretty hot, but they just last for a second, but I think that's helping. I'm kind of messing this up by taking all the placenta out. I'll try not to. I'll try to just get the seeds if I can. Don't want to lose that placenta, because then it won't kill me. Mm. All right. 
Rogue Seed. All right. Oh yeah, I haven't smelled this one yet. Ooh. Oh, I like this one better. I think this one's gotta be tastier. It smells sweet. Um, sweet and fruity. Um, yeah, here we go. I don't think this one's gonna be as hot. It's not burning like right off the bat. Maybe I burned my taste buds out. <clears throat> Ooh. Little creeper, little creeper. <clears throat> good, very good. <clears throat> um, I see the wa the the wall on this one is thicker than this one. This is more thin wall. Um, so hot sauce powder. That's my recommend on that recommendation on that. But I'm more of a hot sauce guy, so I throw them all together. Um, second one, I might be burned out from the first one, but not as hot. I'd say it's building a little bit right now. <clears throat> it's a creeper. Very sweet though, very good, fruity, um, very tasty, um, hot. It's a builder, it's a builder. <clears throat> I don't know, habanero? It doesn't have as much of that stinging burn as a habanero, but I say the Skullville is probably around the same. <clears throat> Okay, um, thanks for watching. This is a never been tested peppers right here. Um, Andrew Kileon, Kileon is going to be um, selling seeds this fall, I believe he said. Woo! Woo! I'm going to try to cover up his number a little bit, but there's his um, email. I don't know if you see it. Um, He's on Pepper Lovers Community. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's still building. There's somebody out there I know. Just just a local idiot. Hey, how you doing, Eric? <laughs> um, <clears throat> please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll have another video shortly of the other pepper. Thanks. <sighs> so... The heat's building still on that last one. <laughs> I don't know. The heat levels might be the same. <sighs> kind of ghost pepperish, but I did drink this, and I'm telling you, they extinguish while you're drinking, but later, it kicks you right in the face. <sighs> Can you tell? You got it. <sighs> Ooh, I'm dying. Um, thanks for watching. The Obsessive Gardener!